Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to a waterfall today to check it out. <clears throat> then tonight we're gonna sleep in my um, Z-Pax Soloplex tent. It's supposed to be the lightest tent on the planet. You know what I mean? It's, it's so far the lightest tent out. And um, I'll show y'all about that later. And um, every, all of the gear that I got on me right now. I'm testing the new Ultra Olympia, Olympus 5s. They got a thicker sole, which, you know, I weigh 230. So, uh, you know, a big boy needs a little bit thicker soles. So we're trying them out. Um, I've heard some mixed reviews on them. Right now, I've got some mixed reviews on them because the heel has like a memory foam piece in it. And I'm um, not really sure how that'll work, but... I'm thinking maybe I'll get them broke in and that memory foam will kind of seed around the back of my Achilles tendon and it will uh, be perfect. That's what we're hoping for. But um, I'm excited to bring y'all along with me and let y'all see this. I'll put the directions to this little hike down in the um, description. It's a little bit tricky to find, but um, I've been here before. So I knew exactly where it was, but the way it says on all trails, is um, one spot and it's about two or three miles from where it was at and we drove around quite a bit until we finally actually found it but anyway y'all come along with me and uh we'll enjoy this hike it's all downhill on the way down but it's all uphill on the way up so maybe we won't die too many times Um, it's not real real pretty the leaves and stuff you know in the winter time but best thing about it is there's no ticks no chiggers and most of the time you have all these places out here in the national forest to yourself um, I've also got a Zimbivy I think it's a 20 degree um, quilt that I'm gonna be trying out tonight and I'll show you all all about it here in a little bit Kind of chilly down in this little holler. You got the big hill on each side. I'd hate to run up that. Now I'll show you this side. Pretty much just going down through this bottom part. It looks like a road, but you can't drive down it. But um, you know, it's just an old uh, national forest road where they get down in here, and you know, like every once in a while they get to cut trees and do all whatever national forest people do. Um, other than just for our enjoyment and um you know to preserve natural wildlife i don't really know what else the national forest is for um i think it's just ours to enjoy i honestly do you know there's a lot of tax money that goes into it and um i know they do cut a lot of trees but you know when they need it when the forest gets too thick but um around here our, ours is great with there's so many trails bike trails mountain bike trails there's so many mountain bike trails around here a lot of um trails that are 30 miles and below plus the um ozark trail goes for, through it a few times and um so if you're into that but um if you ever do the ozark trail i recommend you doing some food drop-offs at some of your cross points there's a squirrel and because um, there's no gas stations or anything where you could do a resupply you know on that on this part of it there is on a lot part of it down like toward little rock and everything <clears throat> but up and around in here there's there's mountains i don't know if you can see that squirrel no the hill first sign of life i've seen today <clears throat> I'm trying out this this is a large size Hyperlite um, 2400 Windrider I've got the tall and um, I didn't like it so I got the large and I bought these when they um, Hyperlite has maybe twice or three times a year it's called a second sale it's like returns you know like if you didn't like one you bought and you returned it you could get it as a second sale or when they was sewing on it the uh, stitch might be wrong or anything like that but both of these I think cost around a hundred dollars 
in them. That's cheap for an ultralight backpack. Maybe a little bit more than $100, but either way, you can get them from uh, really good condition to, you know, some of them are stained up and, you know, some of them are around $100. I, th I didn't think I could beat it because I'm just going to beat it to death anyway out here and throw it around. <laughs> so that's what I did. <clears throat> so we're testing this large one out today, not the tall. So I'm hoping it does a lot better. Going down isn't the bad part. It's the coming up the hills is what's bad. Look at this tree. Thing is still alive. Going up and down. Huh. So beautiful out here in the National Forest where it's quiet and you can just have your own little mind going running wild. Really nice. I'm hoping the water's running down here. You hear that Zolio going off. You don't get no phone service out here, so it's nice to have something, you know, like this to be able to People could track you or just whatever, especially if you're on longer hikes where you're away for like five to six months. <laughs> it's um you get service anywhere, so that's really nice. They got some pretty cool little lookouts so far going down this hill. I'm about getting warmed up where I can take off my jacket, so it's a uh, seen one squirrel. And, uh, I just love the bluffs and the big old rocks. That's always something I've always loved. Cool little rocky thing there. <clears throat> Took my jacket off. Now I'm cold. Um, I got a little light sh long sleeve shirt in my backpack, but I hate to drag it out. <clears throat> Big old bluffs. I love this place, man. It's a bunch of, reminds me of where I grew up in Missouri. We're at the last little leg here. Yeah, there's water coming down. I can hear it. So cool. Y'all want to see something pretty? Check this out. <laughs> How pretty is that? It's so gorgeous. It's amazing what's out in the wilderness. It's awesome. How amazing is this? This is well, well worth the hike. 
to get here. It, it's, it's just, it's breathtaking. Like you come to somewhere like this, and this anywhere that's like this, it's just out in the middle of nowhere. Like nobody will see it in their lifetime. And when you get to, you're one of the few. And it's just, it feels so good at a, at a place like this. You're by yourself, no one to bother you. If you trip and fall and break your leg, you'll probably die. And that's what's cool, because you're actually living. There used to be a bunch of uh, crawdads down there, but I don't know whether they disappear in the winter, like whether they crawl in the dirt and wait till spring and come back out and lay babies, but I don't know. <clears throat> I don't see any. That means they're there, not there. Oh, actually I do. I think you can probably see it. Kind of point at it. All right in there. <clears throat> That's the uh, only one I see right now. Where, if there, that one's there, there'll be more. This layer, this little layer right here, looks like that one solid rock. I you know solid. It's layers, but a solid piece. And there's a different type of layer right here. Thinner layers. This looks like thicker layers up there. Like we're how the earth settles. Not as much right here, not as much right here. But really fast up there. You can see these layers. I think that's during the great flood. How the dirt and everything rushed down and started putting in the layers for the rocks. And up there, the layers seem real thick. It's crazy. It's really neat looking at all this. Now, guys, we're going to head back up. And then <clears throat> I'll meet you up to where we're going to set up tent. Well, guys, we made it down here to our campsite. I about tripped over a rock right there. Um, we're going to be staying right here by this little waterfall. Nice sound at night. Cougars, panthers be coming down, whatever's down here. <clears throat> um, got the whole place to myself. So if you like winter camping, um, it's, it's time for it right now. It's perfect weather. I think at night it's only supposed to get down to like 35. Um, which I got a 20 degree bag, so comfort level's probably around 35. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm a fat boy. I say fat. Yeah, I'm pretty muscular, but I'm, I'm heavyweight. Like, um, so, you know, I sleep really hot. So if you're like a woman or um, sleep cold, might wanna bring, I would say if it gets down to 35, I would bring a 20 degree bag. You always wanna, to me, you always wanna bring more overkill than not enough because or test out your bags at home in the degree you know and and see so i'm gonna set up my tent so uh i'll just put that in fast forward and y'all can watch me do it i had a pump air pump to go to this but uh doesn't have the same fitting I need, so I'm going to use the old-fashioned blower upper. I don't want to have it too thick because um, I like it to be a little bit cushiony. Put this in here like so. Got this is 30 inches, but there, perfect. Then these hooks connect to my quilt. Let me get my quilt. Colors don't match, so that's whatever. Um, you fold this around and start hooking connectors to the same color: green, green, yellow, yellow 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 
and then go just like this come back yellow to yellow right here and they kind of pull in there and snap and then there you go well guys we got a tent set up got my headlight because it's about to be dark around here and um i guess that's about it till in the morning in the morning we'll get up and maybe make us some coffee um i don't know how cold it's gonna be tonight 35 i think but um we'll see i still got my thermal underwear i could put on but um i'm gonna wait because i don't want to get too hot i know it sounds weird saying you'll get too hot in 35 degree weather but when you got a down um quilt it's very likely like this is a down jacket i'll put the link to this in the description if you've ever thought about getting a down jacket try one of these um I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it like right here, right here. Um, it was only, I, when I got it on, it was on sale for like $65 or $60. But it's a goose down, perfect jacket. I mean, it's warm. It's a real deal. So, anyway, I'll put it in the link in the description. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Morning, guys. This, uh... Zimbivy quilt really surprised me last night. I stayed really warm in it. It's the first time I've ever took a quilt out. I don't know if y'all know nothing about quilt, but you know, quilt don't have no zipper and it's not as heavy as a sleeping bag. It doesn't go underneath your body. And uh, I wasn't ready to get up. Um, it really worked good. I'm really warm under here. I'll show you this dude a little bit really puffy but uh you can see where it's latched <clears throat> i just stuck my head under here like this all night bundled up like this i do have a problem rubbing my head on this right here this is um you know it gets condensation in it they all do it there ain't no getting away from it no getting away from it <clears throat> but um what did surprise me was my nemo mat got a little cool on me last night on my body and i think what it is is this is the first time i've used this quilt <clears throat> so it uh sleeping bag has some more of that underneath you and it helped it helped it out so i'll have to start might get that new nemo mat that's like an eight r value but anyway well i'm gonna put some pants on and um try to roll out of here well i got my stuff all packed up ready to go I just wanted to show y'all a little bit behind me what my view was this morning. And um, I'll see y'all on the next video. Thank you. Bye.